All the way from Cartagena, Colombia, we have Fito, uh, Fito Segreira. I developed this, pro this project called Agnosis, the lost memories. I used a more, com um, a more complex uh, brain-computer interface developed by uh, OpenBCI here in New York. And basically, I measured my attention again, but now I added a, a, an array of sensors, accelerometer and gyroscope and GPS and raw brain data and all sorts of uh, bio, sort of bio data and body uh, data, physical data was being collected whenever my attention was dropped be, uh, below certain thresholds. So the result was what I call a lost memory which is basically a package of data that then had to be translated into something, a sort of digital narrative that will somehow contain that lost moment, that moment that I wouldn't remember. Um, so basically an image from a camera that was on my forehead, the brain data, um, the G GPS data, gyroscope, and an accelerometer. And all that system ended up in, in, in this second iteration, ended up in two products, a generative book of um, lost memories where a machine, a system, um, an AI was trying to describe that moment for me and it gave me back a sort of poem um, which, which look, uh, I mean it, it, at the end I printed a, a series of books with all these lost memories which were some sort of uh, bizarre poems created by uh, AIs at that time uh, from all this data that I've been telling you about and, and then you get this sort of log, like a memory log from my lost memory. So that was one of the, um, the, the products or the artistic products that came out. And the other one was a process where the machine will first look at the image that was captured from my lost memory through the camera and it will try to find an interesting, uh, an object, let's say, or, or something from the image that will grab its attention, let's say, and it will create, through um, a series of algorithmic processes, it will create a digital sculpture and a poem, right? So the digital sculpture originally would look like this object floating there, but eventually, all of these lost memories will get rendered together in one single composition of all these digital sculptures over a photograph of the area where they were captured. 